I just seen on Fox News that they're out here trying to ban certain books, and I say good. Ban the books. Those things are dangerous. New ideas, new thoughts, alternative perspectives making me feel all uncomfortable. And God forbid somebody walks into a school with a book, and they start reading out loud. Do you really want that ink on your hands? Think about how scared the children must feel when they're doing all kinds of active reader drills. Tell me that's not traumatizing. And, and I know what you bibliophiles are thinking. Oh, we don't need less books. We need more. The only way to stop a bad guy with a book is a good guy with a book. Well, good luck with that. Let's say somebody goes to read up a school and you you think you're quick draw LeVar Burton over here, but oh, oh no, you, you're fiddling with the zipper on your fanny pack and you can't get your book out. Next thing you know, the guy reads off two or three pages and you start to take in new world views and feel un comfortable ban the books now at least the autobiographical ones and the semi-autobiographical ones it's it's too easy to just walk in any old book fair and walk out with the stack of them we need background checks what are you gonna do with them books huh think i don't think so ban the books now that's why i wrote a a pamphlet, you can go on my website, I wrote a pamphlet, it's a couple hundred pages, it's got a binding to it, and it'll teach you everything you need to know about what to watch for when it comes to banned books. <laughs>